Do you ever look out across the horizon and just think, the world's probably flat, isn't it? Some people do. In 240 BC, some Greek dude named Eratosthenes calculated the circumference of the Earth, thus promptly dispelling a contemporary myth that our world was flat. From then on, everyone knew it was round. Job done, that was the end of it. Except it wasn't. Bizarrely, it wasn't until the 1950s that a fair few people changed their minds about the whole Earth being round thing, with Samuel Shenton, a failing sign writer from the UK, founding the Flat Earth Society. What this particular society lacked in academic prowess and scientific evidence, they made up for in sheer volume, hosting lectures all over the world where they rejected the last 2,000 years of astronomy. Though the Flat Earth Society eventually dwindled in numbers, we're seeing a modern resurgence today all over the world. Now, all of the Flat Earthers I reached out to declined to be interviewed, perhaps skeptical of an account with science in the name. But in my own research, I found that Flat Earthers don't seem to believe in these photos, or space travel as a whole, or horizons. So what do they believe? Well, they believe the Earth might look like this. They believe gravity as a theory is false, objects simply fall. Yep. They also believe that governments fake the shape of the Earth to hide the truth of the Bible and steal money siphoned through non-existent space programs. A shadowy and intricate conspiracy unveiled only by fringe groups on Facebook. Now, if all of that sounds insane to you, it might be because it is. Well, we know the Earth is round because we have taken pictures of the Earth in space. There are also a lot of geometrical arguments and also physical explanations of like various phenomena that arise from the Earth being round. Things like uh, seeing a ship uh, on the horizon, you can see that the hull of the ship starts to disappear before the rest of it. So that kind of implies that the ship isn't just getting so small you can't see it um, in a straight line sight. It's, it's dipping down over the horizon. Now it's hard to argue with Matt's logic on account of the fact that it's empirically correct and easily provable by any small child. Let's be honest, the question, is the Earth flat, isn't really interesting at all. What interests me is, why do so many people believe it's flat? Conspiracy theories are explanations for our world, normally centered on powerful people manipulating the public, and they're nothing new. From the moon landing being faked to the existence of lizard people, 5G causing coronavirus, to Finland just not existing. Psychologists believe that conspiracy theories allow people to make sense of the world, explaining unlikely coincidences and the chaotic nature of reality with simple stories of good versus bad, woke versus sheeple, Doris from Stoke versus NASA. Um, a lot of people, you know, they, they find something like this and it seems to really attach to their egos, attach to their self-esteem. And then the psychology continues, and then if you believe that the Earth is flat, well, then you are woke, you are aware. Now, this might explain why people believe something as ludicrously stupid as the Earth being flat. But why is the number of flat Earthers rising now? Well, first, we have to consider politics. We've seen a tide of populism sweep the world over recent years, with political figures often positioning themselves as the antithesis to a corrupt existing establishment playing into the conspiratorial concept of a shady elite. And when the UK's own Lord Chancellor states the people of this country have had enough of experts, is it really that bizarre that people end up, well, not listening to the experts? Next, we have real injustices like the Epstein scandal, an example of a rich, powerful person committing heinous crimes and evading justice for years. It's really no surprise that cases like this reinforce the views of conspiracists and serve as evidence for more insane beliefs. After all, the Epstein scandal itself was once a conspiracy. And finally, we have the world's current media system. On one hand, monopolies of media, multitudes of outlets ran by the same few people. So where do people go when they feel they can't trust the media anymore? Over to social, of course, the chaotic, under-moderated Wild West of the internet. The combination of these sociological elements have created a world filled with conspiracies, a world where the truth is often so hard to discern and locate that ridiculous beliefs like the Earth being flat become, well, slightly less ridiculous. To be clear, though, it's uh, 